All right, let's go over how to use this program. So at the top left here, usually I have these things turned off when I'm doing uh, the recaps, but I'll have these two panels on when I'm writing things. So you might want to have all three open here. This middle panel, that's to mute or unmute any of the tracks. Uh, the left panel here is basically your different notation and other ways of playing stuff. Uh, then the right panel here, like song information, end up changing like different guitar sounds or whatnot as well. But the main thing we want here, we talked about the metronome stuff. So up here at the top, you want to make sure both of these are on. So the hourglass gives you your count in, and then the metronome is the metronome. And then these three dots to the right, you can change how loud the metronome is. You can also change how many bars of a count in you have. So as you get going really fast, you could you might want to set this to two bars, so like when you're at 200 beats per minute, maybe set it to two bars, so this way you have a little extra time to start the Guitar Pro file playing and get your hands back to the guitar in enough time. Um, also, when you have the uh, your cursor at the start of the piece, you can just hit the space bar and that'll start for you. So you can uh, have your pick in hand, hit the space bar, and then get your hand right back to where you need it real quick. Um, and if you hit Control plus Home at the same time, uh, that'll get you back to the start as well. If you have a Mac, I don't know what it would, would be. Uh, maybe Command Home? I don't know. But if you hold, you know, hover the mouse over that button, it'll tell you what your command is. So as far as changing tempos, you need to make sure that the cursor is at the start and then you go up here, click on that, enter in, you know, the next tempo, hit enter, and there you go. So what happens is, if your cursor is further along in the piece, and you go to change the tempo here, it changes it where the cursor is. So you just got to be careful with that. Um, that's really all you need to, well, let me do some other things. Like if you highlight this, and you turn this on, it will loop it again and again. So it's useful for certain things. Uh, for what we're doing, not necessary yet. But it is a useful feature when you want to just repeat something and just drill it for a while. Uh, but that's, those are the main things right there that you want, or you want to know how to use. So, that being said, let me use reset this. Right. So yeah, definitely keep that right hand moving, even if it gets really fast. Just keep the right hand moving as much as you can, because what we're doing is really just training you to get used to this rhythm as much as possible. So here we go. 60 for minutes. One, one, two, three, four. downstroke here because it's a downbeat and then when you go here downstroke again because it's a downbeat so basically if it's a downbeat pick down upbeat pick up smooth as possible we want to get rid of any staccato right now and keep your thumb in the center of your hand we don't want it to the left of your index finger and when you do that 
your fingers will start to collapse and then it makes it hard to hit stretches. So 60 beats per minute, number two. Here we go, one, two, three, four. a big deal counting this stuff. So you definitely know how to count things. You demonstrated that with the chords. So with the single note stuff, not as big of a deal unless when we get to a rhythm that is challenging for you, then it's important to say it. Now if there's something like this, not a big deal if you're not saying this one. 120, one, two, three, four. third and fourth finger like we discussed earlier. Keep that thumb center of your hand. So basically the, almost right behind the ring finger. Basically right behind the ninth fret is where my thumb is right now. Very much helps with the stretch. We want to avoid hand shifting as much as possible. Here we go. 60. One, two, three, four. Come up, let me know, and I'll see you again next week.